In this video, I'm going to discuss what I feel is my number one thing I would want in any house or business for that matter if I'm living in Prince Edward Island. But before we get to that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. So essentially, my number one choice of things to add to your house in PEI, especially after Fiona, is a generator. Now, generators come in a variety of different shapes and forms, but essentially they fit into two different categories. You've got the traditional portable generator, which would hook up to the house via a cable, and then you've got what's referred to is as a standby generator. A standby generator is much, much larger. It's typically on a cement pad. It's hooked up to the house and it will run the entire house. Typically, these generators can get quite expensive, starting off probably around $7,000 plus installation, electrician, and so forth, so forth and so on. These standby generators operate in PEI on propane or diesel. We do not have natural gas here other than what's being piped or brought in by commercial uh, freight liners. So that would run on propane or diesel. Diesel has a problem sitting for months or years doing nothing. So most people will go with propane. Now as far as portable generators, they will run on gas. Typically regular gas unless you're getting a really high-end generator which may run on a premium fuel and may be fuel injected opposed to just a standard combustible engine. So other things you might want to know, you've got your generator, the next thing is to go get it hooked up to the house. The standby generator is automatically hooked up. The portable generator will hook up to the house either by a, a sub-panel or what I use is called a Generlink where you remove the electric meter, it plugs in between and you hook up the cable to the Generlink powering the entire house. A few things to watch out for is the fact that regardless of how much fuel you have, you may not have enough. I had enough for three days. My generator ran for almost 200 hours. So I quickly ran out of fuel only to find out that most gas stations either weren't up and running, were out of fuel, only had one or two lanes open because they had to have a portable generator brought in and that's all it could power. So I ended up getting down to about the last gallon before I was able to get more gasoline. So the point I'm making here is I want to have enough fuel for at least 10 days. Most important part of this video is safety. The number one cause of problems from what I've been told with this uh, Hurricane Fiona was generators. So pay attention to all the safety procedures, become familiar with how to operate your generator, where it should be situated, and do not fill it while it's running. Thanks again for watching this video. Have a great day. Again, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions about Prince Edward Island real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.